Have you ever wondered what happens when you blow on a feather or a piece of paper? They drift effortlessly through the air because they're so light. Now imagine something even more incredible. Planets as light as cotton candy, floating in space. Sounds impossible, right? But astronomers, with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, have discovered a system of super puff planets that are so lightweight, they almost defy the rules of planetary formation. Where are these strange, fluffy worlds, and how did JWST manage to spot them? Let's dive into this astonishing discovery. Orbit beyond the blue. As we have seen so far, JWST has made many such discoveries since its launch that have left us stunned, surprising even scientists. And now, with this new discovery, this telescope has once again proven that it is indeed a superstar. This time, a strange system of the lightest planets has been found about 2,615 light years away from Earth in the Cygnus constellation. Such planets are called super puff planets. Scientists had already discovered three very light planets here. And now, a fourth planet has been discovered through the James Webb Space Telescope. All these planets orbit the sun-like star Kepler-51. In such a situation, scientists now believe that a whole system of the lightest planets in the universe may exist here. Now, let's talk about how JWST discovered this. The fourth planet of this strange planetary system was identified when the results of a study investigating Kepler-51d were published in the Astronomical Journal on December 3rd. This newly discovered exoplanet has been named Kepler-51e. According to Jessica Libby Roberts, a team member of the Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds at Pennsylvania State University, superpuff planets are extremely lightweight because their mass and density are very low. The three planets discovered earlier are the size of Saturn, but only a few times more massive than Earth, giving them a density similar to cotton candy. These cotton candy-like planets have small cores and enormous puffy atmospheres made of hydrogen or helium. How these strange planets were formed remains a big mystery. Super puff planets are quite rare in the universe and when they do appear, they are usually the only ones in a planetary system. More research is needed to fully understand this new discovery. Since Kepler-51e has an orbit of 264 days, researchers will need to monitor the system for a long time to determine how this new planet's gravity affects its companion planets. Moving away from the discovery of new planets, let's focus on JWST's discovery of 700 new galaxies. How did this all happen? Let's find out. In fact, the James Webb Telescope discovered that there were more than 700 galaxies in the early universe, a discovery that was previously unknown. Scientists led the investigation of galaxies that came into existence a few million years after the Big Bang. According to the standard model of cosmology, this important period of time is known as the era of reionization. It was believed that during this era, the universe was filled with a gaseous fog that made the universe opaque to energetic light. Our models suggest that only a billion years after the Big Bang, this fog cleared and the universe became transparent. This process is called reionization. And so, during the era of reionization, it was considered impossible to form stars, let alone galaxies. But Webb proved us wrong in this thinking. Yes, a surprising twist came when scientists identified more than 700 candidate galaxies near the edge of the universe. These galaxies were spotted when our universe was in its infancy, between 370 million and 650 million years. The huge number of these galaxies was much more than predicted by observations made before the launch of Webb. The excellent resolution and sensitivity of the observatory allow astronomers to see these distant galaxies in a better way than before. NASA scientists said, previously, the earliest galaxies we could see looked like tiny spots, yet those spots represented millions or billions of stars at the beginning of the universe. Now we can see that some of them are actually extended objects with visible structures. We can see groups of stars being born just a few hundred million years after the beginning of time. This new discovery sheds light on how the first galaxies and stars formed 
leading to the rich list of elements found in the universe today. But more importantly, this discovery also tells us that we may have to go back further into the universe. According to a new study from the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, these very young galaxies have produced intriguing structures and clusters of star formation just 600 million years after the Big Bang. The study collected observations from two small regions in the sky. More than 700 young galaxies were discovered within these regions. With this, James Webb has made an incredible discovery. It has revealed the first light that existed in the early universe. And if you're thinking that this is Webb's most impressive achievement, wait a minute, because James Webb, space astronomers, using telescopes, have found evidence of complex organic molecules in a distant galaxy like smoke or haze. This is the oldest known example of a complex organic molecule discovered by humans in the universe. And it beats the previous record for such a discovery by about a billion years. It's fascinating and also terrifying, because this discovery at the edge of the universe is changing the foundations of our cosmology. This is a powerful discovery, which is what is changing everything. These chemicals have been detected inside an early galaxy, which was formed when the universe was just 10% of its current age. The carbon-based molecules, technically known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are found on Earth in oil and coal deposits, as well as in haze. But what is the significance of this discovery? Justin Spiker, who led the study, made it clear that the molecules we found are not simple things like water or carbon dioxide. We are talking about something much larger, with dozens or hundreds of atoms. Isn't it important that the universe could actually form large and complex molecules very quickly after the Big Bang? even though our model suggests they couldn't. Given the large distance of the galaxy, the light that astronomers detected began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. The universe is currently about 13.8 billion years old. We are looking at the very beginning of the formation of the universe as we see it today. But thanks to Webb, we were able to detect these complex organic molecules. Imagine if we could look back in time, would it be possible to find even more of these molecules and that too so close to the Big Bang? Imagine where would that leave our science, our cosmological models? Earlier attempts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies only indicated whether the chemicals were there or not. With Webb's resolution, we can now see the actual details of where the molecules are located within a galaxy. The reason why these molecules are not uniform in this early galaxy named SPT041847, is not yet known. At the same time, this discovery also proves that it is possible for galaxies to form in the early universe. What's fascinating, though, is that the galaxy was already as massive, and its stars created as much carbon and oxygen as our own Milky Way. Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together. Orbit. Beyond the Blue.